minutes, the Scotch Test Dummies will bring in your Spring Bank 10. From Campbelltown. Boom, man. We got some 5 o'clock rocks. Glasses contest is wrapping up, wrapping up. Dropping beats. Boom. Not bombs. Test it! Let's test it. All right, Bruno. Springbank 10, Campbellton. Right? Yes, Campbellton yes. single malt. Camp. I always feel it. Campbell, Campbelltown. Campbellton. Campbell. Campbellton. 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 Campbelltown? Campbelltown. Not Campbelltown. Campbelltown. It's very confusing. Boom. Now, you bought this. You want to go in that room? Should quick? we address and then go and quick? Then we'll you got go. ten seconds. Right. So we ran uh, five o'clock rocks, sent us three different types eight ounce rocks glass, 11 ounce rocks glass, 12 ounce, kind of a rocks glass, but with this fluted giant hold on, my favorite. But they said uh, we're holding the contest. Um, whoever wins gets to pick one set. There's two glasses in each set, so you can pick the 8, the 11, or the 12 pictured. What do they got to do to win the contest, and then we'll, we'll be done? Uh, just comment. Uh, leave a comment on this video or... Um, comment what, on the video. What was the one that we did? Oh, Clyde Mays. Clyde Mays is when we introduced the glasses and talked about it. If you leave a comment on our Clyde Mays uh, bourbon review um, spring or in the Spring Bank 10... Comment. Leave us a review. What are they or supposed leave to say? us a comment by December tenth. Any on comment. December tenth of twenty sixteen. No, you got to say please register. I want to register for the five o'clock rocks giveaway. Bam. And you got to be subscribed. Please subscribe. So you got to say that. I want to be. Does it have to be a quote like that or just five o'clock? Five o'clock rocks. rocks. Just say bam. five o'clock rocks. You just put five o'clock rocks. Bam. In That's there. right. And that that'll get you entered into the contest. And we'll have some leeway. You went past your 10 seconds. Sorry. Boom. So that, when does this end though? When is the drawing going to be 10th. done? December 10th. Did you already say that? Yes. Then I'm saying it thrice. December 10th. <laughs> December 10th this ends. So if you've just now become a fan and the year is 2018, the contest, the contest is over. Be, yep. No more so 5 o'clock rocks giveaways. Well, maybe we'll have some more 5 o'clock rocks giveaways. Maybe. Maybe by 2018. I'll be driving my, uh, my Uber car. will be driving me around. Driverless. Yes. Spring Bank 10, sir. Spring Bank 10. Now, and, and um, our, our, our trusty liquor store guy, Matt, actually kind of messed up on this one, I think. Which Matt? Tall Matt. Yeah, Tall Matt. He looks like... Uh, he, he thought this was peated. He did. And it's, and not, it's not. And it's I didn't not. think it was. Which is fine. I had no yeah. idea. Yeah. Looks a little we'll bit like Wesley him. Crusher. We'll have to take him a sample. Will, Will Wheaton. Looks like Will Wheaton. Matt, if you were watching, the uh, Spring Bank 10 is not peated. But he looks a lot like a, a tall, younger Will Wheaton. Just throwing that out there. Oh, Stand by me. I could see that. Stand by me, Star Trek. Yeah. And now he runs a board game show. Oh, oh what? And so, you look like Donald Sutherland. Like the old. I've been told I look like the, the uh, what's the one where they snatch the, the, the pod, the aliens or whatever. What's that one called? That's the bearded Donald Sutherland, and it is. You guys are yelling it out. Body snatchers. The uh, uh oh. Something of the body snatchers. Invasion. Invasion of the body snatchers. And if that's wrong, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah, apparently... Why is it look, my fault? Because you misquoted. Oh. No, I'm sure it's me. But yeah, apparently I look like the <clears throat> older bearded Donald Sutherland. Maybe the one from Kelly's Heroes. The one where he's nuts. Oddball. Maybe a little crazy. What do you got on the nose, brother? Maltiness. Really? Um. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Cereal malt. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Nothing. It was just the way you were like, boom, like, and then drop the mic. It just happened. <laughs> Cereal malt, grain, sweetness underlaying. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oak. Yeah, I don't get much wood. A little... Okay, I was going to say cream. But you're right, it's like a vanilla cream. 46% also is our oh. ABV. It has a higher. real light nose to it. It's like mm. air. It's like floating on air. Mm. Very sweet, very coating mouthfeel. Just a little sip going in. Um, 
smooth for 46%. Mm -hmm. That citrus sweetness, uh, almost a lemon maybe. A little bit of oak, a little bit of almond. Lemon meringue pie. Mm. With the, um, the grain taste That's almost fine. giving me the flaky crust of the lemon meringue pie. It's, it's, I say meringue because it's got that lightness, that fluffiness to it. Has a very subtle and slow fading transition, dropping into nothing. And that fading is a citrus, again, almost like literally what a, uh, the aftertaste of a lemon meringue would be in my mouth as it just slowly dissolves and fades away and it lingers just a little bit it's really subtle on the linger but it's there and that's mm. neat that's interesting um very nice for a 10 year old i, I mean that de definitely feels like a older scotch minimum of 12. it doesn't taste that young no i mean i get more of that grain flavor and for me when they're younger I get a little bit more of that that grain like in a lot of NASs I'll get the, the grain flavor I like the grain flavor mm -hmm. I actually prefer some of the grain flavor over uh, I don't like heavily oaked and that's not what you're getting here you're getting a light fluffiness um, my almond moved into a toasted almond with water a little bit of a roasted or a toasted almond on and your like, taste or your nose no on the taste and really, maltiness. Maltiness, toasted almond, a little bit of, of a lemony citrus sweetness. God, I really like the nose on this. And that's about it for me. This, I mean, it's, it's a short uh, finish. Doesn't hang around a long time. Yeah, lemon meringue nose or key lime pie. Holding on to that citrus, that, that tanginess. Tasty. Yeah. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I like the water in there. Adding the water, more of the cereal malt comes in that, that original burst, trailing off to that citrus, and then again, that light, fluffy meringue just slowly inches down and further and further, and then it goes away. Um, I'm going to say it's an 88. I like it. I like the flavor. I like the lightness. This would be something I would open a tasting with. Mm. Yeah, good call. Yeah. What do you got? I couldn't even. Oh, 87. Yeah. Interesting. It's right there with okay. you. Yeah. It is good. It's smooth. There, there's not a lot of com complexity to it. Um, it's surprising for a 10-year. Probably one of the better 10 years, if not the best 10-year. I, I know you're not, oh, Freud. No, uh, Read my right, mind, baby. Baby. I was about ready to just okay. slam non the door. Non, sorry, non-peated 10-year. <laughs> that is so funny because I was like a... Like if you, as soon as you pause, yeah, time. as soon as you pause, I was gonna start yelling out my uh, peated's. I'll go ten like, years. Ten years a young Scotch. Oh, that's, young. Uh, that's young. What? 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 No, 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 it's young. <laughs> I just love them. Love them. Hard bags, Lafroig. Think outside the box. I do. I just love you're, There's this box, and this is where you're at. Everything, everything we review comes back to this box with Lafroig and Ardbeg in it. I'm going to flip that on its head. It's less a box and more like you've been away at a real nice hotel. And it's a fancy hotel, and it's got a cool little shower and nothing like what you got at home. But when you come home, you're at home, baby. It's home. Maybe not as fancy. Maybe not as frilled. But it's comfortable. <laughs> it's cozy. It's a warm fire in your favorite blanket. 
And Lafroy. Not the blanket. See, the blanket. The blanket is in the box. You got Lafroy, you got Arba, you got a blanket in there with it. When you everything, say box, everything comes back to that box. When you say box, you just think home sweet home. When you're packing up and moving out, that's all you got to grab is that box. Home sweet Lefroy, home. Lafroy, Arba, and the blanket. You've been out on the road. The weather was bad. The streets were hazardous with snow. And you're headed home to your box your home sweet home and it's peated and it's warm and it's young <laughs> there's a contest December 10th put your comments in say five o'clock rocks bang or bam whatever you have just five o'clock rocks in there you get a chance to win you now, can pick the 12 ounce 11 ounce or, or 8 ounce glass what one of them I just had an idea now we weren't gonna talk to you. We, we've we've addressed these so, in a couple of our episodes. What you were gonna say? Is our challenge, worth. our Scotch Test Dummy Challenge coins. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, they're two inch ceramic. Some call them a poker chip because they're ceramic. Right. But they do work as a Glen Cairn topper. If you've seen us using them in the last few videos. Like but that. like I'm using number one twenty right here. I got fifty three. We need to. We should label these. Put them just in their separate. When we sell them, when somebody buys this, they get the coin that was used in the Spring Bank episode. That's a lot of extra labor. I'll do it. You'll do it? Okay. Till do we they even care? Them. Like, I want 53. Because, see, this well, has been in my that. pocket. I wouldn't. I don't know if you could try to reserve them or keep them, but it'd just be like if an order come in, boom, you got Oh, the so you're Bank. saying go watch the Spring Bank show. That's where we used them? Yeah. So they'd get a little, it'd be like a... Oh, man, this was used in the Spring Bank video. When Joe Blow orders it and it arrives, he goes, Oh, I got the coin from the Lagavulin 16. All right, that's a neat touch, but are you sure they're going to... I mean, this has been on our deal. It's almost used. Are they going to be licking it? If they touch it and then don't hand sanitize, it'll be the same thing. We might think... We'll have to talk about that and think about that. Put it in the comments if you think it's a dirty used coin, because this has been in my pocket. We could just do it with Not one because we might run dirty. out of We only got 250 coins. We might run out of them before we sold them That is all. true, actually. That is true. That's a good point. So if we because, just did one, though. Right. When we're doing two an episode, yeah. yeah, within a year, we would be have them all tagged. <laughs> you would have them all tagged and labeled. But we could just do that, just one out of the mm -hmm. two that we use, and then, and then bag it and say this is from the whatever video. I would, if you told me to do that, I would resist. If you're willing to do it, maybe they enjoy it. Once it takes some Ziploc bags. Yes. That's it. Well, my life is busy. My is home it, sweet box. Is it worth it? 60 bucks, I think, is what you got. Yes. Yeah, it's worth it. It's a nice dram. Uh, it brings me that, that lemon-esque um, I'm not going to say it tastes like these, but it reminds me of a, a Dalwini, a, uh, a Glen Kinchy. It's the lighter fare, uh, this one having a little bit more of the cereal grain to it. I like having those around. I would use this as an opener in a three or four bottle tasting, hands down, tell them, hey, you're going to get some grain notes. This is a grain note whiskey. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. Um... I don't think so. Not at 60. Uh, uh, I think that's too high. It's a good whiskey. It's good scotch. But when you look at the other options that are out there, and you talk about an intro, and it's malty, and you'd like to show people that, I think you've got other options that are a lot cheaper. You're thinking Balvenie? No, no you're thinking Tomatin. Yeah. Tomatin 12. Hmm. I don't right. know. I wasn't going to name any. But. Oh, I always, I just throw the names out there. Um, Boom. It's not bad, and, 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 and this too comes highly regarded. There's a lot of people online that like this. I like it. Bank and it is good. It I mean, is yeah, good. I like it. But if you're, if you're across the pond and you're paying 25 or $30 for it. Do you think it's that cheap over there? they got a lot of taxes across the pond, too. I don't know. I think it's about the same price. Let us know what Sometimes this goes for. Sometimes we get it cheaper. So, all right, that's all I got. There was something else I was going to say in there. And, and I've now is it in the box? It. Is it outside the box of the... Lafroy and hard bag and a blanket. Probably in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Probably solidly, solidly in there. Um, we're getting close to the end of the year. It's been nice having you guys uh, with us, and uh, please subscribe.
So. Uh, December 10th, make sure by December 10th, leave us a comment that you want to be registered for the 5 o'clock rocks. Yep, and you'll be able to, again to pick the 8 ounce one, go watch our uh, review of the uh, Clyde, Clyde Mays. We go into each of the yeah, glasses. We show them more, or the 11 ounce rocks, or this is the 12 ounce kind of cool triangle ish. Wow. What do they call that a whisk, 12 ounce whiskey glass. Whiskey glass, set of two. The others are rocks two. glasses, aren't they? The yes, eight they ounce are. and yep. six ounce rocks. This is glass. called a whiskey glass. So scotch it, you scotch gods. Slaunch it. Dummies. Dummies.